Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Pass store. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files without having to follow the tutorial, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The link will be in the description. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create the Game Pass Shop UI. So what I'm going to do is go to start a GUI, as a screen GUI, I'm going to name it uh, main GUI. And I'm going to add in a frame, and it's going to be, oh, uh, I'm going to add in a frame, and it's going to be named Game Pass Shop. Uh, now I'll just resize this to a scale that I like. Uh, something like that should work. I guess that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to position this in the center of the screen, and I'm going to use this plugin called Unit Conversion, which I'll leave linked to in the description. Uh, so I'm just going to click on Unit Conversion, and then you're going to press Scale on Size. And you can also add a constraint if you want to. And then what we're going to do is add in a scrolling frame. So the size of the scrolling frame is going to be the size of the uh, frame itself. A little smaller though yeah that's good okay so now I'm, we're gonna check auto canvas size automatic uh, canvas size we're gonna choose Y and we are also going to use the unit conversion plugin on this too but I'm not gonna add the constraint for this so what I'm gonna do now is set the scroll bar thickness to zero and then I'm going to add in a UI grid layout and then we're going to add a frame. Now, what I'm going to do is change the color of this frame, a light gray. And I'm going to mess around with the size uh, right here in this cell size and cell padding um, property. So the, the scale offset should always be zero. Okay, so I'm just going to have a bunch of frames just to uh, choose the right settings for this. So, uh, I want it to start from the center, so horizontal alignment should be center. Uh, we changed everything in the Y grid layout, I think. So, I'm just going to get rid of the other frames and only keep one. And now, we will just rename this to template, okay? So, template, and then we will add a, an image label. Now this is going to be the image of our game pass, so I'm just going to put it there, use that plugin again, and uh, by the way I forgot to mention this is, the plugin is used for uh, scaling uh, UI so that when you go to another device it will still look the same, add a text label, and I'm just going to resize it, I think this is good, uh, I'm going to change the background transparency to 1 the text to uh, 10 row books for example and the text scale property should be checked now the text color i think black is a good font for doka one and uh i think that's good enough uh now we're gonna add a text button this is going to be the pie button okay that's perfect now i'm going to change the background color to a nice green Maybe a darker green. And I want to uncheck auto button color. And then we will change the text to buy. And uh, maybe all caps. Uh, text scale, text color, white font for Doka one. Okay, so now I'll add a UI corner to this. I'll change the corner radius to 0 0.1, 0.0. And I'll add a, another UI corner to the Game Pass shop UI corner. So UI corner, and we'll just change this to 0 0.05 comma 0. And then we're going to add a big text label in here. And it's going to be the title, background color, background transparency 1. Text should be um, Game Passes or uh, maybe Store store text scale should be checked font for doka one as always and we're just going to use the plugin that i talked about for everything that we haven't used it on yet
And now what we're going to do is just rename the, everything correctly. So this is going to be the buy button. And this is going to be price label. And uh, I think that's all we need to do. And this is just going to be the title. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is make sure that this is invisible. And what I'm going to do is add a local script to the Game Pass shop. So local script, and I'm just going to call it uh, Game Pass Shop. Okay, so in here, what we need to do is get Marketplace Service. So local Marketplace ma market place Service equals Game Colon Get Service Marketplace Service. Let's check if I'm still recording. Yes. Uh, okay, so marketplace service local players equals game colon get service players a uh, local player equals players dot local player and now what we need to do is get the game pass shop itself so local game pass shop equals script dot parent and local um, scrolling frame scrolling frame is going to be a uh, game pass shop can wait for child scrolling for uh, scrolling frame and then we need to get the template template equals scrolling frame call wait for child template okay and now what we need to do is local game pass ids and that's just going to be a uh, list of the game pass ids that you have and i'm going to show you how to get the game pass ids of your um how to get the ids of your game passes okay so here i am in the creator hub and i'm going to go to view analytics on this random place that i have and i'm going to go to associated items and passes now in here i have this game pass called test pass uh you know what let's create a new one to show you how to create the game pass so uh i don't need to change this and the name is just going to be uh test game pass test game pass and uh maybe test game pass too because i already have another test game pass and the description may be uh game pass create pass now you just created a game pass we're gonna click on it now in here you can make it on sale put it on sale you can change the price to maybe uh, three robux and uh, save changes and the robux takes 70 percent you get 30 percent uh so basic settings we did everything now i'm going to show you how to get the id so uh, you just click on my inventory and it will take you here and you can just copy this string of numbers this list of numbers in here just copy them and that's your game pass id so i'm going to to copy them right click copy and go back to the place and in here i can paste in the id of my game pass okay so after doing that we need a function for prompt game pass so local function prompt game pass prompt game pass and that's just going to take game pass ID and uh, we're not going to write in the function yet we're going to write in a full loop, for loop so pass dot wait three seconds and for underscore comma game pass ID in game pass IDs do do and what we're going to do is uh, local game pass info equals marketplace service uh, con get product info game pass id comma uh, enum dot info type dot game pass now this is going to give us a list of uh, the information of our game pass so it's going to give you the name of the game pass from the id the price of the game pass from the id of course and uh, basically everything that you're going to need uh, so the next thing we need to do is get a template so new template equals template con clone and i'm just going to zoom in a little new template called clone and uh, new template dot name is going to be game pass info dot and uh, we're just going to type in name uh, now new template dot image label dot image label dot image is going to be rbx asset id asset id uh just type in this slash slash uh, dot dot and we're just going to type in game pass uh, info dot icon icon image asset id with with a lowercase d of course 
uh, asset ID. Okay, so after doing that, we we will just need to do new template dot uh, price label dot text equals uh, game pass info dot uh, price in robux uh, dot dot. We can just add in our and the uh, dollar sign for robux and new template dot visible of course is going to be true and new template dot parent equals and uh, scrolling frame okay now what we can do is uh, new template new template dot uh, buy button dot mouse button one click on connect function and uh, prompt game pass purchase prompt game pass and uh, game pass id now we can just play the game and see if this works Things should work. Okay, so we have our game pass, and as you can see, we have the image, the buy button, and the price of the game pass. Now, one thing that I forgot to do is to add the UI corner to uh, the buy button. So I'm just going to make the template visible and add in a UI corner. And I'm just going to make this 0 0.1 comma 0, maybe 0 0.8 comma 0. I think that's good. It doesn't look too bad. And I'm also going to bring the this uh, down. So this should be 0 0.75. 8 0.580. Okay, so that's good. Now we can just make this invisible again. Play the game and see how that looks. seconds okay so it looks pretty nice now we're gonna make it so that you can actually buy the game pass okay so uh in here what we're gonna do is we'll type in uh we're gonna have variable local has pass and it's going to just be false now local success comma error msg equals p call function and uh, has pass equals and marketplace service Colon user owns game pass async player dot user id user id comma uh game pass id and uh what we're gonna do in here is if not success if success or if not success then return and and uh if has passed then you can just print you all then what we can do is just maybe uh change the text of the uh, buy button to uh owned so uh, this will also take in the buy button so buy button dot text equals and we're just going to type in owned okay now else then marketplace service called prompt game pass purchase and uh, it's going to check it it's going to take the player and the pass id Okay, so now what we need to do, now this should prompt the purchase, by the way. And uh, when I click it, it should say owned, but it should attempt index in with text. Okay, so we did not send the game pass, the buy button. So new template dot buy button. Let's try that again. It says owned. Good. Now what I'm going to do is just... When I'm looping through the game passes, I'm going to just copy this, paste it right here. And what we're going to do is if has passed, then, and uh, we're, we'll just copy that buy button dot text. No, we're not going to copy it. We're just going to type in new template dot buy button dot text equals, and uh, we're just going to type in owned. Now it should say owned from the very beginning because I actually own the game pass. Okay, so it says owned and I shouldn't be able to buy it. In order for you to be able to uh, buy the game pass from studio, you should have a, uh, a thing checked. I'll show you how to do that. So the way to do that, you just go to game settings in here in home and you go to security and just check um, allow third party sales and i think that should be it and if i don't own the game pass i'll just go to my inventory and delete the game pass from my inventory 
I should be able to purchase it, and it's not going to say owned. Let's wait for it to load, buy, and as you can see, I'm able to purchase it. Now we need to make it say owned when you purchase the item. So what we're going to do is add a script to server script service, and we'll call it uh, game pass shop server and local marketplace service equals games game get service marketplace service and uh, what i'm going to do is marketplace service dot on dot prompt uh game pass purchase finished one connect function and that's just going to take the player and the game pass the game pass id and what we're going to do in here is uh We will just fire a remote event. So, remote event. I'm gonna call it by game pass or game pass bot. So what we're gonna do is uh, game dot replicated storage dot game pass bot con fire client, and that's just gonna take the player and the game pass ID game pass ID. And what we're gonna do then is uh, remote or actually game dot replicated storage one way for child the game pass bot dot on client event on connect function uh, that's going to take the game pass ID and what we're gonna do is for underscore comma v in uh, scrolling frame calling the children do we're gonna check if v dot id dot value equals equals game pass id game pass id then so what we're gonna do is add a uh, an int value to this and it's going to be called game pass id or id and in here we're just going to do new template dot game dot id equal dot value equals uh and uh, game pass id okay so in here what we're gonna do is v dot buy button dot text equals uh owned then we're just going to break this loop let's try that again let's see i is not a valid member of ui agree okay so we need to check if v can find for child id then then we can do all of this Okay, so uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is in in uh, the server script, you need to actually check if the game pass was uh, purchased. So in here we can just put in was purchased, and in here we can just check if was purchased then, and then everything should be working just fine. I'm going to buy this. And as you can see now, it says owned. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.